Welcome back to the Voices of Women Summit, where in honor of International Women's Day 2023, we are raising the voices of hundreds of women so their messages can be heard. Your host for this session is Dr. Sunny Fridge. Dr. Sunny is a presentation skills coach, as well as the co-founder of Speak and Shine Academy and host of Speak and Shine podcast. She has another amazing guest coming right up. Take it away, Dr. Sunny. All right, all right, all right. Amazing indeed. Yes, I am super excited to be here today and super glad for those of you who are joining us again. Please let us know where you're joining from. People are joining from all over the world. So tell us where you're from in the chat. Again, I'm Dr. Sunny and we have another exciting guest coming right up. Her name is Isha Joshi. Hello and welcome to the program. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Isha. Hi there, everyone. Thanks so much for having me here. I'm very excited. Happy International Women's Day. This is an awesome event and I'm grateful to be part of it. My name is Isha Joshi. I am one of the co-founders of Udly. And at Udly, we are trying to build a artificial intelligence powered speech coach that provides you with judgment free feedback on your public speaking skills. More on that later. Yes. Originally about myself, I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, I've been in tech for some time and my motivation for starting Udly is because I've seen so many smart people around the world, women, immigrants, other underrepresented minorities have the skills, have such intelligence, but not necessarily the skills to back themselves up when they speak. I built Udly with this mission in mind of helping people get the skills, practice, and become more confident in the way they speak so that they're able to get the opportunities, credit, visibility they deserve, et cetera. I am so delighted and honored to be in this room with you. And we're gonna talk about your topic, how AI, artificial intelligence can help us navigate our fear of public speaking. But I also wanna just share a little bit with the audience that Isha Joshi, she is the co-founder again and CPO of Udly. It's an AI powered coach to help people improve their communication skills. And her dream is to help women like you and me become more confident communicators so that they can get opportunities that they deserve. And she's worked hard to improve her own public speaking. And now as a former Toastmaster champion and keynote speaker and kudos for that, she is passionate about helping others become the best communicators they can be. And also prior to Udly, Isha was an Apple product manager and software engineer. She was there for five years and she worked on building the technical infrastructure for systems such as the Apple TV Plus content pipeline and Beats by Dr. Dre supply chain. So wow, she brings a wealth of knowledge. So Isha, I am. I am a Udler. I love Udly, and I was honored to be invited to the coaching advisory board, and I'm learning so much about this product. Please just tell us a bit about Udly and whatever you would love to share, because it is amazing. It's really a superpower for me. Thank you so much. Yeah, a little bit about why we started this and what how our journey has led us to this. We all know that two out of three people are afraid of public speaking. And I can confirm that here in this virtual room, I'm one of those folks, you know, terrified <laughs> to speak, nervous. I think all of us can resonate with this feeling very well. The night before a presentation, interview, speech, a couple minutes before you ask your manager for a, a promotion, et cetera, we speak out to a camera, a mirror, a stopwatch, and we go back and forth physically in a room trying to memorize our slides. And we have that nervous sinking feeling. We know people who don't get opportunities they deserve because they don't know how to back themselves up when they speak. This is you know, an introvert who designs slides, but an extrovert who is confident and charismatic and will take mm -hmm. the credit for it. Or a woman who gets talked over several times again and again in team meetings. I can definitely resonate with that. 
or the immigrant, the non-native English speaker who is conscious of their accent, their English, and avoids opportunities to speak because they are nervous about saying the wrong thing or saying something grammatically incorrect. Our team has spent the last two years on a journey to help people build the confidence to speak with confidence. We've chatted with over thousands of communication coaches like yourself, all the way from TEDx trainers to interview experts, speech coaches to debate professors, business schools, et cetera, to try and understand where does this fear of public speaking come from? You know, how, how do we all have it and how can we harness it? The answer actually lies in human evolution. Our caveman ancestors were trained to know that anytime they saw several pairs of eyes, this meant trouble, you know, lions or wolves looking at you ready to attack you. Um, and as a result of this, the amygdala or the fight or flight response of the brain would kick into high gear. You know, heart would start be, um, beating in order to pump more blood, palms would get sweaty and they'd run for their lives. We don't do that as much anymore, um, but we <laughs> are in situations where we're surrounded by hundreds of pairs of eyes and we get the same sensation our ancestors did. We get nervous, anxious, our heartbeat rises, our amygdala kicks into full swing. What is the solution? And I know this is a long-winded answer to get to, to how you came to be, but the solution is to use our prefrontal cortex, the mm -hmm. rational part of our brain for logic and reasoning to overpower the amygdala. Um, and to, to recognize that the audience is not a pair of wolves, but a set of humans who are actually quite lovely and nice and they're here to listen and they're rooting for you. Um, yes. Sometimes they might check their phone and they might eat and they might <laughs> cough or whatever it is, but, they, but they're not here to harm you. The number one way to change this balance between the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex is through exposure therapy. The more times you put yourself in front of these nerve wracking situations, the more accustomed you get and feel. Uh, I will say that I don't think you ever truly conquer your fear of public speaking but you learn to tame it and harness it for the better. Yes. Bringing this full circle to Udli, we built this with this mission in mind. How can we help people practice, get the exposure therapy that they need and feel good about the way they speak, which will lead to confidence and a whole host of wonderful things. I love the exposure therapy, as you call it. And I might say it's like practice, right? You do it because the more you practice, the better you can improve. And some of that leads to confidence and confidence leads to competence. And I love the technology of Udly and how you have transformed the lives of thousands of Toastmasters already because Toastmasters partnered with Udly to unveil it to all of us who are members, for those of you who don't know, Toastmasters International is a worldwide organization and it helps people become better communicators and leaders. They have a, a program where you're able to take on leadership roles, do prepared speeches, think on your feet impromptu. And all of this seems to be tied in to the analytics of Udly. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, as you mentioned we have partnered with Toastmasters and they're a wonderful organization. Uh, they represent what we stand for as well, which is this idea of bringing forward community and folks in the same place to help you practice your public speaking and your general communication. With regards to the analytics, Udly, our AI speech coach, will automatically give you feedback on your eye contact, body language, <laughs> filler words, and much else. The same way that your Apple Watch or your Fitbit might provide analytics on your walking or mm -hmm. your medical report might provide analytics or highlights on the status of your blood pressure, body temperature, and more, our AI right. speech coach does similar thing, but with speaking. Awesome. Do you have a, an example, a demonstration? Are you able to do that for us today? Absolutely. Yes, and while she's doing that, Welcome to Hale Hushim, if I'm pronouncing your name right. I love that you're here and Tony Madeiras. And if something that 
Isha is saying resonates you, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you understand that getting over that fear that you expose your therapy practice is amazing to do. Yes, I see that ones are in the chat and certainly myself as well. And Isha is probably about to sign in to Udly, which is free. What? Free. Absolutely. And it has yes. changed my coaching game, the way I teach my students at Speak and Shine Academy, and I put them through it. And they're, wow, that's cool. So when you can get kids to like being analyzed, that's a good thing. Absolutely. Yes, this is the website, app.udly.ai or just udly.ai. And you can come and ace your next corporate presentation, sales calls. These are Zoom presentation. These are all different use cases in which you can use Udly with. If you scroll down, you can see more about how our AI speech coach works, who uses it around the world, how Udly works, et cetera. So I'll, I'll show you this process of recording versus reviewing and also repeating um, on Udly. And that's the loop that we're trying to promote with exposure therapy. So I'll wow. come back to the top. And I'll click on sign in. If you don't have an account, click on get Udly and it's free to sign up or sign in with just a few clicks. This is my homepage. And the first thing I could do is take a look at how might I use Udly, right? How might I leverage these AI analytics? How might I use Udly on a Zoom call? Um, what would be the benefit of connecting my calendar? All of which is captured in these short videos. We have a few featured speeches like one from Malala, and it shows one of her speeches along with her transcript and her set of speaking analytics. Well, what if you want to record yours? Real time. It's real time as well, right? Um, it comes immediately after your speech. You see all of that, even if it's whether it's live or or recorded. Absolutely, absolutely. So yes, you can upload a recording from anywhere, you know, any previous speech, interview, conversation you've recorded on your phone, you can upload here, or you can come and practice. I'll show an example here. <laughs> practice with a fun prompt, or you can say anything off the cuff. So I'll start here. I'll set a one minute speaking time. I can shut my video off if you're nervous to see yourself, totally understandable the first time. And we have a few different settings here. We have a countdown. Um, hello, I'm like so very, very excited to be here. Um, it's international, like a, a International Women's Day. And I just think it's an opportunity for all of us to understand why, um, you know, like where does the fear of like a public speaking come from? And our dream is to help millions of people around the world harness and tame this fear through um, like Udly. And it's crazy, in fact, shitty that so many people are afraid and like, what can we do to help them? Is it by practicing via the smart mirror? Is it about talking in front of a friend? Is it about getting on various panels and coaches? I don't know, we're still trying to figure it out, but if you could help us, if you could help us out, that would be great. <laughs> so I'll click on stop. That was of course, uh, my first version of my speech, uh, I could play this back or I could simply save it and instantly see my analytics. A few Boom. things happening. <laughs> Boom. Um, so we have my AI speech coach and it's gathering its notes. I'll minimize this just to show some of the other parts of this. So I'll say International Women's Day demo speech, retitling the name of my recording. Down below, we've got my transcript. And what's interesting is you can see what are the things I've done? What are my speech patterns like in conjunction with the transcript? So my filler words are highlighted here. It says 6% filler words. Try getting to 3% by pausing instead. I can certainly play any of these. And why? Um, I've got non-inclusive language. I said the word crazy or shitty. This is ableist or profanity. This might be offensive to someone. Uh, weak words. These are hedging words that may not be very substantive um, and don't add a lot of color to the speech. So we highlight these here. Top keywords, the most frequently used themes. We also have information on delivery. How was my centering? What were my smiles like? 
Did I make sufficient eye contact? Looks like I was less looking at the camera and more looking elsewhere. What was my pacing like? I spoke quite fast and you can get granular information. Um, yeah. Of course, pauses. I love it. Well, I we, love it. I, I love that delivery, by the way, and pacing, because at one point you speed it up and usually a conversational is probably between 120 and 170, 160. And once you know that you're too fast, maybe you can correct it. That's a beautiful thing about seeing these analytics. What does it mean? Absolutely. And thank you for adding that clarification. Conversational pace is between what's here, 120 and 180. And it's very important to vary your pace to keep your audience engaged. It should be up and down. It should be like a nice sine curve, right? Remember geometry and trigonometry. Um, but in this case, it's going completely up. So I, I started <laughs> off okay and I went very fast. <laughs> Last two things I want to talk about are this idea of playing your speech back on 2X and watching yourself in cringe. And then talking about what the AI speech coach has to say. So I'll play this back at 2X, I'll shut my audio off and I'll start from the top and play this. And you can notice, right, without any audio on 2X speed, I'm moving my body back and forth, my eyes are darting. This is a really easy way to say, wow, without even listening to the message, how can I improve elements of my delivery? You can certainly give yourself some feedback, stop bobbing, uh, you know, look at camera, whatever it might be. And each of these are time synced to the video. So you or your coach can come and give this and you can say, well, what did Dr. Sunny mean when she told me to stop bobbing? You can click on 38 seconds and see, ah, she meant in this moment that I was bobbing. Um, it's a very interesting way to, again, start with the process loop and feedback loop and, and get better. Last thing I'll talk about with the demo is our AI speech coach. Now this highlights some overarching, overarching highlights from the recording. So let's review them together. So I'll click here. The first suggestion is free phrasing. Here's another way I could have said what I said. So here I talked about International Women's Day, et cetera, and it told me, Here's a more concise, effective, and clear way of saying this. Hello, everyone. It's exciting to be here on International Women's Day as we reflect on this day. I think it's important to understand why the fear of public speaking is so prevalent. And you can see a different way of saying this. Wow. The second one is points that you got across. Right? Here are the key points your audience took away. This is a great way to say, you know, I know what I wanted to say, but did my audience take that? Do they understand what I was saying? And you can cross-reference what you want to say with what your audience heard. The speaker's dream is to help millions of people tame their fear through Udly. Speakers suggest possible solutions such as practicing with a smart mirror, et cetera. The third one is a follow-up question. Anytime we speak, we have to expect follow-up questions. And that's really hard. Impromptu speaking is really tough. How can we prepare for that beforehand? Our AI speech coach gives follow-up questions. Can you tell us more about Udly and how it helps people overcome the fear of public speaking? Shoot, I probably should have covered that. Or <laughs> what inspired you to start this project? Oh my goodness, another important one. So great way to know information you missed. Um, and that's it on the speech coach, Udly, awesome. the demo. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this wonderful tool, technology. And, and you know, Women's Day, International Women's Day, it's focusing a lot on women and tech. How amazing do you feel to be part of technology, able to transform lives one voice at a time? How, how does that make you feel? Because I, I know in the beginning, one of your challenges was being in a room with different, uh, well, not too many women, as a matter of fact, and navigating your way. Thank you for the question. I feel really incredible to be in this room and to be still a woman in technology. I think there have been many situations over the, cor over the course of the last seven years where I've not wanted to, and maybe I've thought about doing something else, or taking a position, because I do think it's hard. I do think that when you're one woman out of eight people, all of the others are men, it's difficult to 
sympathize with anyone else or to feel heard or to feel um, listened to. And it takes time to get used to being in a room like this, but also you start to develop mentors and allies to help with this. So, so overall, I'm very grateful to still be here because I think it's a wonderful space to be in. Awesome. Well, we are so glad that you chose to be in this space with us today. Now you have a downloadable. Tell us about your downloadable. Absolutely. So, uh, so the downloadable is Udly.ai. It is what I just demoed to you. It is free, no credit card required. Please <laughs> use it and start practicing and seeing your analytics today. We would love to hear from you on how it goes. Um, and if you are more, if you are excited to keep chatting with us, we'd invite you to join our community. Um, in fact, one of the things I forgot to do, Dr. Sunny, is show one of the games, because that's one of the most fun parts about Udly. Could I actually do that for 30 seconds? I'm real quick. Okay, sure. 30 seconds. You got it. Time starts right. now. Let the game begin. Public speaking should be fun, light, and playful. We built some games to help that. My favorite is spinny yarn. It helps with off-the-cuff speaking, okay. you know, that witty water cooler talk that you need to have. So I'll play this for 30 seconds so you all get a fun perspective on this. Idea is how can we incorporate distractions into our everyday conversation? I'll do, I'll do 30 seconds and I'll go medium. Oh, let's try hard. Start playing. Describe the perfect Sunday. I love waking up, going on a long run or bike ride, and then shoving a fistful of pastries into my mouth. It's amazing to be able to spend time outside in the snow. And I don't quite know what that word means. So I'm not going to say it. Um, and then know that if I'm stuffing myself with sugar poison, rolls, anything in between, I'm still going to be okay because I went on a nice long run or bike ride. My dad does this with me a lot. And he often, anyways. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There you have it. That is a fun way to speak off the cuff because most people don't know what to say when it comes to answering impromptu questions. So I love it. Isha Yoshi, I'm sorry, Isha Joshi, it has been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for sharing your amazing topics. What words of wisdom do you have for us as we log out? Practice, practice, practice. The only way to get better is to practice, be it youthly, something else. That's what I would recommend with regards to public speaking. You heard it here, folks. Isha Joshi co-founder of Udly. I wish you all the best and thank you for creating such a magnificent tool. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us for another amazing session of the Voices of Women Summit, where our mission is to raise the voices of hundreds of women so their messages can be heard.